This is a capacitor. There's a mica disc. Here's another dielectric mica disc there. We have this connection for the top of it. and in matching technologies. Let's see what we can do. I think this goes with this. It's a separate unit. I want is to this thing to stick. Right, you want to see you want to see current and voltage, yeah. both increases. Yeah. That's, that's the Coil the winder place. for the yeah. Utron cone. Yeah. Right. Because if, if you seventy two turns. Hey, you're welcome. So nice to meet you. Yeah, you're great on camera. Really? <laughs> you're a movie yeah. star. But one megahertz drive in it? Yeah. And I'm getting the Schumann's, close to the Schumann's resonance on both channels because of the periodic waveform. But let me, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in and I'll show you what I'm actually driving this thing in. That's the megahertz I'm driving in at. So here I'll show you what that frequency is. Cursor A. One megahertz, right? Mm hmm. I'm going to change the time. Give you this frequency. It keeps shifting, so it's hard to get it, but it's close to good antenna to check that it was. Anyways, I'm getting this on top of that, whatever that is, which I, I, if I can nail it down to, well, maybe not Schumann's. It's shifting. So it looks like an Arabic writing, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. sure. Manual track. Channel 6.24. I'm getting a low frequency output on this. Uh, a, car a, a, this, a, a harmonic. You're getting a harmonic from a thousand hertz. From one megahertz. Oh, one megahertz. I'm driving that with one megahertz, and I'm getting the output of the one megahertz plus this other wave on it. Which is a, a six hertz. Six point four one. Which is harmonic then. You you probably you're probably work getting the eighth harmonic. Is it can for. for uh, well, the eighth harmonic of one megahertz would be a megahertz, right? Well, then you're going. Well, here, let's let's just divide it out and see. Um, I don't know. Uh, I thought it was Schumann's because it, it no, popped no. in at one seven point. Let's see how. Five. Let's see how many. Uh, the only the only reason you could have that was is a, a harmonic. Okay, is that right? There's no other explanation. No, it's got to be a harmonic, huh? Well. 
a harmonic yeah. of a thousand hertz, uh, uh, megahertz. Megahertz. So. But the harmonics usually. Okay, there's is, a megahertz. Okay. Okay, what do you got? The actual frequency. One megahertz. No, the um, the other frequency. The six point four one. Six point four one hertz. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to divide that. So you're working on that many uh, harmonics away. That's a lot of harmonics. That's not the eighth harmonic, though. No, it's uh, 1,500. <laughs> um, uh, um, see. 156,000. Yeah, 156,000 harmonics. Har har uh, well, this thing's maybe the shape of it ties into uh, it, low frequencies. I'll change the the driving frequency, this square wave, to what, 432? Yeah. Okay. How about this? For this square wave, let's give it a a duty cycle of eight, not fifty percent. Eight percent. Oops. Point. Even eight percent, just like the black box. Point eight. Point, Point zero eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like the black box. Point zero eight. Right. Okay. Uh, invert it, right? Yeah. I don't know. I I drove it with one kilohertz, and I was getting six hertz. Six hertz. I'm driving it with a lower frequency and I'm getting a higher frequency. Okay, there's some place where the two interact. There's a common point then. Your common point then. Where they should all... And that might be the over unity point? Yeah, this this one? You mean that, that Are you one? you measuring everything in there correctly? Or a... This is a straight up what's coming out of yeah, there. Yeah, he's just got a direct connection. 609, 617. Didn't uh, Gray, Edwin Gray, talk about 6 kilohertz driving his systems? I don't know. Uh, and somewhere around 6 kilohertz. Let's see. Is there, is there a way you can just make it a variable like you? No, I wish I wish there was, but it, it's it's all electronic. You want to put the uh, signal generator on? Yeah, it? that that would be actually. Sure. Uh, I think. Okay. 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 You're getting 20 volts out of each one. Okay, that's your your vortex. Yeah, and they're because you you signs are 90 180 degrees out of out of phase, right? Out of phase, okay. 20, okay, if we do measurements on that, at so six. You see that, that that's your vortex uh, sine wave. You're getting yeah. about 20 volts out when we're putting 12 volts at that frequency. Okay. Explain the uh, waves again. We're we're driving a oh a triangle wave. I think we should do. Oh uh, yeah, you want to do square. square wave. I think we maxed out the meter. Okay, let me turn that off. Uh, I think I could switch the probes to ten times the reading, and then. Do that. Do that. So that's 10 volts per division. So we, we should be able to see more. It's about...
40 volts out of each one. For uh, 10 in? 12, about 12. Okay. At 5.86 kilohertz. So let's keep going up in frequency. Okay. What we're looking for is peaks of how the, this reacts when you drive it. We're yeah. not even touching it, we're just... I mean, that coupling right there... Yeah, no, I know. It's so loose. If this thing was really coupled to the primary, uh -huh. I think this spike would be higher. See, there's a, it's modulated. There's noise on it. There's noise on it. I don't know where that's coming from. Is that... This is a low end of a 100 kilohertz scale, so this is about that 6 kilohertz. Range. So what are you putting in that into the coil? Right uh, about we could put the. What, what's in there right there? Oh, you don't know? Mm -hmm. No, it's whatever that meter is or the function generator. Has. Oh, that's right. It doesn't it, it doesn't work. But that. we could find out. Yeah. Okay. I I forgot that that readout doesn't work. Six point three five kilohertz. Okay. Which is what this is. It's resonating at that point, 6.3, 6.25. About 10 volts for each signal. Uh, I might have missed it. I mean, this thing's not. Seems really to be the resonant point so far for this coil. Just a but it might be a higher megahertz. Too. Yeah, because I, I don't. Megahertz, know. right? Not no, kilohertz. Oh, it is kilohertz. kilohertz. That's what this is really yeah. 6.02. And we get 12 volts in, 40 out of each yeah. lead. So that would be, that would give you 80. Now that frequency there, what you got right there, will, uh, will pull apart anything, that any, any miss of motion that's in present time. It'll pull apart. Any what? Miss motion. Oh. That's uh, starting to get hot now. Yeah. Turn it down. Okay. <coughs> okay. Well, that does work that way. That's interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that uh, I, I reverse the polarity there. I switch these wires, so I'm going to switch them back. Oil. Yeah, it's really hot now. So super duper. Uh, to to uh, according to the physical laws of, of electronics, hmm. the smaller you make the coil, okay, or the less resist, uh, the re less inductance it has, the higher the frequency you'll be able to handle. The larger the coil, the, the more inductant, uh, the, the greater resistance to uh, higher frequency. Does that make sense? It does. Because it's just, it, you're just creating a choke. 